While we're continuing to follow the latest on fires across Louisiana, the largest fire in the state continues to be the Tiger Island Fire in Beauregard Parish. As of this morning, that fire is still sitting at 71% containment. But the good news is that the flames have not spread. There are also two fires near the Rapids and Vernon Parish line. You can see them here on the map. The Highway 113 fire is split between the two parishes northeast of Pitkin. The latest update has this wildfire at 63% containment. That's been the same for a couple of days now. The Elizabeth fire is south of the 113 fire and is 72% contained. The maps also show the status of the fires. Black lines around the parameter mean that area is contained, while red is uncontained. Those are the spots that crews are focusing on at the moment. Together, these wildfires have affected over 8,000 acres. And farther northwest in Vernon Parish, crews are still working on the Lions Camp Road fire between Leesville and Anacoco. This wildfire is 83% contained, the same percentage as over the weekend. And you can see it here on the map. This fire has affected 785 acres. And despite rain that we've seen over the past week, fires are still a major risk for Louisiana. That's why officials are continuing to remind residents to follow the burn ban, which is still in place. Since August 7th, our state has been grappling with a burn ban, which became more restrictive on August 25th due to changes in the atmosphere. Despite some much needed rain throughout the area, it's important to note that this rainfall hasn't been su sufficient to alleviate the severe drought conditions that we're currently facing. Days without rain. So five with about an hour or so each day getting a little rain, it's still not enough. In order to get to where we need to get, we have to have just as much time as we had without the rain with it. As it stands, the current ban leaves no room for open burning. This includes fire pits, bonfires, burning in barrels, and agricultural burning. However, residents are allowed to utilize barbecue pits and smokers under close supervision and only for their intended purpose. So we're letting the weather experts let us know what's best practice. We're going to be reviewing it on a weekly basis. So there's no timeline at this point. Certainly we would all like to see that burn ban lifted for various reasons, but right now it is still in place and we need everyone to please cooperate with it.